Hi everyone, welcome to Science with Mrs Scullion. Today we're going to learn how to make ice cream in a bag. Here is a list of things you will need. A hundred and twenty millilitres of milk. Twenty grams of caster sugar. A few drops of vanilla extract or essence. A hundred and twenty grams of salt. A medium and a large resealable bag. Enough ice to half fill your large bag. Hi everyone. So last term there were a few classes that I had promised I would show how to make ice cream in a bag and we unfortunately didn't manage it. So today I have my glamorous assistant Isla here Hi. who is going to help me to make ice cream in a bag. So at the start of the film you will have seen what we need. We need 20 grams of caster sugar, 120 grams of salt, 120 ml of milk, a few drops of vanilla essence, we need some ice and we need two resealable bags. We need a large bag and a medium bag. So first step is you need to half fill your big bag with ice and then we're going to put that to the side. Next we're going to take our medium bag and we're going to add our caster sugar. That's 20 grams of caster sugar. Okay, we're going to add some vanilla extract or vanilla essence. So we just need a couple of drops. We just need a couple of drops. There we go. Otherwise, it's too vanilla. -y. And our last job is to add 120 mils of milk. So half that carton. Okay. Okay, just pour it in. Oh more. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Whoops. That should be. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And what you want to do is you want to close your bag. Make sure you get rid of the air. Squeeze it out and make sure it's sealed. We're going to go back to our bag of ice. And to our bag, we're going to add 120 grams of salt. Perfect. Now what lots of people think is that when you add salt to ice, it melts the ice. And that's kind of what's happening. But the salt actually lowers the temperature at which water freezes. So the ice will start to draw heat from round about it. Now we're going to add our mixture and the ice is going to draw out of this bag to keep it cool, eh, to, to heat the ice. That'll take the heat out of the milk mixture and it'll turn it to ice quicker. We give our bag of ice and salt a little shake and then we're going to add our bag of milk. If you keep the top close to the top of this bag. Now for the next five minutes, you need to move the milk around inside the ice. The best way to do that is just to sugar it a bit. Now we need to do this for about five to 10 minutes. A couple of things, it's going to get cold on your hands. I suggest you use a towel or some gloves and pass the bag between people. Remember to keep the top up so it doesn't spill. So we've been mixing for about five minutes now and if you take your small bag out you will see that it's still runny but it is starting to become a bit more solid, a bit more like a mousse. That means that you just need to keep going. As I said, 
the salt has lowered the temperature of the ice, so it's turning to water. The water is pulling the heat out of your milk. You need to keep massaging the bags and moving that ice all around your milk. So we've been mixing and shaking our bag for about 10 minutes now and our fingers are pretty cold but we've made ice cream. Your ice will probably be watery now so you'll need to very carefully take your bag of ice cream out and if when you take it out you think it's a bit soft put it back in the ice and keep moving it about. Our ice cream is probably just about ready. So we're going to scrape it out we're going to pop it on a plate. Looks good. Okay, it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And for final check, do you want to give it a taste test? Some of ice cream. Mm, good. It's good. Well, good luck everyone and I hope your ice cream turns out well. Remember, you can stay up to date by following us on all our social media channels. We're on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter.